Where are you? Who's out there? Please don't take my magic leap. Eric! Oh, oh gosh. I think they were following me though. They're following you? Don't worry. Where? I think they're I, behind you. Behind me? What? Was that a gun? Yes, it was. I brought it just in case. I hear him getting closer. I can shoot him. Well, careful where you're. Ah. They're behind you. Where? Behind what? No, they're behind you. Wait, watch where you're pointing at. I got it. This is what I'm seeing. So you can see the tables right there. The couches are right here. This is right here. Uh, the camera now. All right. So this is showing you what I'm seeing right now. Hopefully, hopefully this comes through. Um, so the table's right there. What's up, guys? Welcome to our nerd box video. We're going to be testing how well the Hololens would perform if we were set in a bird box universe where you can't see, and if you do, the creature will come and kill you. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take the Hololens. I'm gonna tape off the viewfinder so I can't see anything. The main idea here is that our spatial mapping will go ahead and scan in everything, and then it'll just be like living in a real world without images. You're still gonna be able to see all the shapes and objects. We were watching the movie, and we thought it'd be really fun to try so without further ado and we're gonna get into the video so here we are I have the hollow ones taped off and I'm ready to start our experiment so I actually can't see anything right now I could maybe see a little bit of sliver of light coming through the top but so far I have it taped off completely like I can't even see where Austin is I hope I'm looking straight at him he's gonna have to hopefully angle this better than me because I don't really know where I am I can see from my peripherals a little bit but not enough that it's gonna help me or anything like that so let's go ahead and start our test basically the idea is can I navigate the world freely so let's go ahead and start I'm gonna just kind of start walking around. So what you guys are seeing is everything. So whenever you see that little mesh come out, that is what I'm seeing and I'm only seeing the mesh. It's completely black besides the mesh. So I can see the chairs are right here. I can go around. Um, I see the tables right here. I see the couches right here. Mm, let's keep scanning stuff in. I knew I put the hall lens case there and it took a second to get in there, but it finally did all right. So this is just using the hall lenses static meshing. In a minute I'm gonna open up Gateway by Practical which is an app with their own scanning method which keeps it always so it's persisting there which will be really nice because then I can see wherever I am. The glass is throwing it through a little bit of a loop. I know something's not right here. When nothing appears like that I don't want to put my fingerprints on the glass but I would have run into the glass probably. I can use a little bit of my peripherals to kind of figure out where I am. Now if this just persisted all the time, I could really walk around really well. I could run around here. The only problem is I have to keep clicking. So let's go ahead and I'll pause this and we'll open up Gateway by Practical and we'll get the continually persisting mesh. We're gonna open up Gateway by Practical. This is a really cool app that allows you to pull in any type of assets onto your HoloLens, whether it's Unity assets or PowerPoint or music or anything. Um, for this instance, we're going to pick from a Gateway's asset library. They have over like 10,000 assets that you can select from, so it's perfect for our use case. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebuild our surroundings that we're in right now, because I can't see them. I'm gonna rebuild them in mixed reality. So I'm gonna replace the couch with a mixed reality couch. I'm gonna replace the table with a mixed reality table. So right now, we are in build mode. I'm gonna go ahead and go over move to scan mode. This uses Practical's specially developed scanning software that's really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and scan in the area. But what's really cool is it's persistent. So right now, all I'm seeing is black. Where there isn't mesh is completely black for me. There's a complete 3D model that I can walk around. It even shows where Austin was. He's not here anymore, but uh, well, at least I hope he's not. Oh yeah, he's not there anymore. <laughs> that would be really bad if he was. I would have just swatted the camera out of his hand. Um, so for fast moving objects, this wouldn't be the best thing. But um, let's say you're in Bird Box and you need to get around from a store, you need to walk around town, you need to do whatever, you can easily do this. And, I mean, it has good enough point where... Austin, where are you? Okay, he's over here. Let's see if it'll scan him in quickly enough. Hmm, 
probably wouldn't scan him in quick enough for me to shoot him if I had to, like in defense or something, like in the movie. But at least you'd know your surroundings so you could hear where they are roughly. Alright, so this is the mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up and maybe you guys will be able to see what I can see. I believe I am covering the camera. So this is what I am seeing. Who knows if this is working? I have no clue if this is even working right now. This is what I'm seeing. So you can see the table's right there. The couches are right here. This is right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it off of scan mode. I'm gonna put it back into build mode. Now that I know kind of where everything is, I know the couch is right here. So relative to that, the couch is right here. The chair is right here, the chair is right here. The table's right here, the table's right here. I've actually gone in and pre-downloaded my assets from their library. It's really cool. You just pull out your phone and you go to build.practicalvr.com and you search for what you want. Like I just searched chair and oh my God, there was like, a hundred different types of chairs to pick from. I picked one as close to this one as I can. So let's go ahead and grab out our couch first. So what I can do here is I can place a couch roughly where it is. Now it looks dorky now, but just give me a minute. All right, I could get my table and I know my table's right about here. So I'm gonna place it roughly there. I could get my chair and I'm gonna put a chair here. The chair here, the chair roughly there, and a chair roughly there. All right, and then I've even got the, like, I'm gonna finish it off. And now this is more from memory, more from than from the scanning, but you can actually see right here, it, I can't see, it's just, remember, it's pitch black for me. So I can't see that there's anything right here, but there is, I know for a fact, I'll place it there and then I'll move it in a minute. And there's one over here. Now I'm gonna go to moving mode. All right, now that I'm in moving mode, I can now take these and manipulate them. So let's start with the couch. All right, so I went in and I readjusted everything just a little bit to make it more precise how I liked it. But let's go ahead and take a look at our mixed reality room. Yeah, I can see that I put my chair there, I put my chair there, put the couch there, and I know I have the Holland's case set right here, so let's go ahead and grab it. Oh, look at that, I did that. That's That looks weird to you because you guys, you guys can see everything, but to me, I can see that the little table I put there and I know it's on top of it. So I can even remember where I set things precisely. There's a chair here. I'm gonna try to sit down with it. And I sat down on it perfectly where it was. This is, it's, it's a completely different way of living. But I mean, if you couldn't see anything, this would be better than being blind and being blindfolded all the time. At least you have some sense of space and perspective and everything. I mean, this is the ultimate bird box hack. It really is. I mean, life would not be all that bad if we did this because there's even more apps. And I mean, this has just happened we have. Basically, that's what it is. And I'll go ahead and cover up the uh, camera now. All right. So this is showing you what I'm seeing right now. Hopefully, hopefully this comes through. Um, so the table is right there. The chair is right there. You get a sense of everything. The, the hall lens is sitting over on there. Um, and you guys don't really know where I am right now, but I'll go ahead and uh, uncover the camera. You guys should be able to see. And there you go. Look, there it's, it's right on top of where everything else was. Let's go ahead and jump to the outro now, and we can say our final thoughts. There you have it. That's our bird box experiment, test, hack, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it shows off how epic mixed reality is and how epic the scanning is on the HoloLens. I don't know about you guys, but that's really freaking cool. The ability to be able to scan in your space and have a 3D model of it right there, enhanced by Gateway by Practical. I mean, rebuilt our entire space. That's really cool. That's probably never been done before in this medium. So this is a first. It was fun to tape it off. I couldn't see anything. It worked really well. And all I gotta say is I am ready for the Bird Box universe. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember, subscribe, like, whatever. We don't really care. We make these videos regardless, but uh, share it with your friends. That's what means the most. And see you guys in the next video.